Okay, 15 reasons why inserting running or fitness into your daily life is gonna help with your entire life and it's important to keep it there. Number one, heart disease, reduce heart disease, risk of diabetes, certain cancers, super, super important. And you may think, okay, I'm 20 years old, I'm 25 years old, what do I need to worry about that? You would be surprised how quickly these things catch up to you and how quickly you get to a certain age, you're in your 30s, early 30s, and all of a sudden, certain friends that you went to school with start to have serious health conditions to do with heart, to do with being overweight, to do with just cardiovascular, and it, and it, all of a sudden a couple of friends die and it, you then, then realize that it's so easy to go back to school and to correct what they're doing, what they're eating, how they're exercising, and get them on the right path. It's so crucial. So increased longevity is the next point. So you're gonna live longer. The stats are there to show that if you put exercise into your life, into your lifestyle, you're gonna live longer. And that's great if you're having a good life as well. Weight management, super important, and obviously feeds back into point one. Everyone you know is dealing with a weight problem, like almost everyone you know is dealing with a weight problem. They're overweight a few pounds, they put a few pounds on because they've started an office job, they're not do able to get out there as much as they, they were before, and they've, they've put on a few extra pounds in fat. Um, it's just something that you can easily manage if you've got exercise to turn to, uh, at any point in your day, in your week, in your month, and you, you have that inserted into your daily rhythm, into your daily habits, so much easier. Increased mood, number four. Your mood is gonna increase because you've got something to turn to in the form of running, cycling, gym, whatever you're doing, you've got something to turn to that makes you happy, it's your go-to. Becomes like your drug that you can turn to at any moment. If you're having a bad day, you've got the gym. If you're having a bad day, you've got running. And it, if you insert it into the start of your day, it's gonna help the, in, the rest of your day, the entirety of the rest of your, your day, because you're gonna be in a better mood. You're gonna be easier to be around. You're gonna be easier to, you're gonna be a better colleague, you're gonna be more productive, you're gonna be more creative. We talk about this a lot. Number five, you're gonna have better sleep. Again, the stats are there, that if you're using your body physically, if you're going to the gym, if you're running, especially if you're doing endurance sport, especially with cycling, running, triathlon, swimming, you're going to have better sleep. Sleep is the foundation of everything. It's going to improve your mood again. So it's another, these are exponential benefits. Um, it's gonna increase the amount of sleep that you get that you need and also increase the quality of your sleep which, which is equally important you're gonna have more energy number six you're gonna have more energy because you're going to be fitter you're making your body fitter you're making your energy higher and therefore you're gonna have more energy and that's gonna lead to a better um, if, if you're working on a business it's gonna improve your business if you if you're in a career, it's gonna improve your work, it's gonna improve the way that other people react to you, your social circles, everything will be improved because of increased energy. You'll have a stronger immune system, which means that you're sick less and you get injured less. So your body is better because of the fitness work that you're doing, your body is better at fighting, fighting disease, fighting illness, super, super important. And then you can improve and steadily progress towards your goals um, much, much easier if you're not taking those down steps with illness or injury, and it's super, super, super important. Big topic at the moment, mental health. Improved mental health because you've got that fitness to turn to, because you've got something in your life which is making you happy, and it's improving the whole, the whole it's improving your whole life. We've already talked, you, it's improving your longevity, it's improving weight management, it's improving your energy, it's improving your move, it's improving your mental health, and that's really, really imp important got to look after your head, you've got to look after your mind, and you've got to put yourself in the best possible position every day to get the best out of your days, the best out of your weeks, and then move forward steadily in all aspects of your life. And fitness is a fundamental for that. Confidence, it's going to improve your confidence. We'll come up to uh, body composition and things like that in the future uh, in a moment, but improve confidence is super important for 
again, getting the best out of your life and being confident enough to approach situations that you, you, you wouldn't be otherwise. Improve confidence to put yourself and to take a leap of faith and start your own business. Improve confidence to start a side hustle. Improve confidence to go for that job that you before didn't really think you were suitable or you wouldn't be confident in walking into that environment. You've now got running or cycling or the gym that's helping you improve your confidence and that's only a good thing. So you've got improved energy and improved confidence. Better body composition. What do I mean by that? You've got a great ratio of muscle to, to, uh, to fat, to bones, and it's a, it's a better good body composition. You, you're showing that you're lean, you're, you're muscular, you're in shape, and that's better for everything. It's better for confidence, it's better for energy, it's better for weight management, stuff that we've already spoke about. It's, it's better, you're gonna be more attractive to the opposite sex. It's, it, all these things matter um, in order for you to put yourself in the best possible position every day to get the best out of your days. So, so, so important. Um, stress reduction. Fundamentals for me are always get great sleep, reduce your stress as much as possible, then the diet comes on top and hydration, then physical activity. But exercise is going to reduce your stress. Being, knowing that you've got access to that whenever you need, so important for stress management, so important for mental health, but will reduce your stress so that you can move forward. Stress is um, a debilitator. It will stop you from doing, like getting the maximum out of your time, out of your days, and, and to reduce that with exercise, super important. Um, super important for you to get the most out of your life. And that's what we're aiming for. We're not just trying to be better runners. We're not just trying to be better cyclists. We're not just trying to be better in the gym and have a, a better body, a six pack, an eight pack, whatever you're aiming for. We're trying to get the very most out of our lives. It's so important in all aspects of our lives, in our career, in our relationship, in our friendships, uh, in our sport, as far as you can you get in that and, and improve every aspect of your life. That's what we're all about. Um, social, by running, by starting to cycle, by going to the gym, you're going to improve not just the number of people that you're exposed to, but the quality of those connections. There's gonna be a commonality there. You both enjoy going to the gym. You both, or you, as a group, you enjoy going running. As a, a pair, you enjoy go, going running. And that's a commonality that no matter what your difference is, and this is what I found over the years, you can be completely polar opposites politically or the way that you think about religion or whatever, doesn't matter because you're both runners and that's really it's it, it, fundamentally that's really really beautiful brain cognitive function is improved because of exercise number 14 it's improved uh, that you can you, you're more you have more clarity when you go out if you kind of like you have a million things on your head um, even if you've written down your to-do list the night before you wake up you've got a million things in your head I've got to do this, this, this. it's all on paper I know but it's still there and then you go out for a run. The amount of times I've done this, I go out for a run and I've got clarity. My cognitive function is improved and then afterwards I'm more relaxed, but I've got more energy and I can focus more. So, so, so important. And number 15, quality of life. So we've talked a lot there about everything that leads into quality of life, but quality of life is improved directly because of exercise, because you've inputted yourself into running into the gym, into cycling, whatever it is you're doing, you, you're aiming to be better at something, which is gonna teach you lots of life skills for the rest of your life, but as we said before, you're aiming to be in, in optimal, the best possible person you can be in all aspects of your life, in relationships, in friendships, in the sport that you're trying to do, in exercise, in body composition, trying to make your mind work as, 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 as optimally as it possibly can, the cognitive function, your mental health is in the best possible position, your immune system is tipped up, you're getting the greatest sleep you possibly can, your mood is enhanced, you're on top of the world, your weight management is under control and you always know where to go in order to get that under control. Um, and it's gonna help you live longer. It's gonna help you not only live longer, but live a great life for longer. That's, what's, that's what is so, so, so important.